Hello, my name Alan Rothstein. I am a believer or God magnetic Jew. I'm also a teacher, so I plan to teach about Jewish wedding and the 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 reaching for some out the that in the Jewish wedding. I want I want to thank Veronica for the for the slide the the cover slide. Thank you. I'm gonna stop. But Father God, we gotta thank you for the wonderful day. That you let your Holy Spirit fall through me in the teaching. I just hope that the teaching will make many people understand about the Jew wedding better. I just pray that this presentation will go without any problem. Thank you, true mighty name. We pray. Amen. Okay. Ready? These are some of the uh, step to a Jew wedding. The different thing. I'll try to. I will explain more for each step. So the name of Shadukin would mean arrangement. Ketuba mean written. Kabala Panim is a pre-wedding reception. Bad can mean veil covering. Me, I do. It's a, like a poem or invocation of doing protection. Protectional. Kedushin identification, identification. Nituin, second part of the ceremony. Breaking up the glass. Finally, why I did mean privacy stick. The first step in a marriage process is called the Shadukin. Refer to an arrangement preliminary to the legal wedding. Back in biblical time, the important first step was called Arrangement. In Genesis 24, 1-4, it says, Abraham was now old and well advanced years, and the Lord blessed him in many different ways. He said to the uh, chief servant, uh, uh, of of his uh, his group, uh, he he asked him to put his hand under his thigh, under his thigh. That was um, something that was done. Hmm. I swear I will do. So you put your hand under thigh. It means I will do it. He said, I want you, his servant, to 
swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of earth, that you will not, I mean, not get a wife from the daughter of Canaanite, among whom I am now living. But you will go to my country, my, my own relative, and, and find a wife for my son Isaac. This is a perfect example of Shady Coon uh, being initiated for the son of Abraham. They were considered the responsibility for the father. Although many times it's not practical. Throughout the generation, this person will call the Shad Khan or Merit Broker or Matchmaker. Like what fiddler on the roof? Fiddler on the roof. Well, that woman was like a Mac, I'm saying Mac maker, Mac maker. So, that servant, when he saw Rebecca, he clearly saw the hand of God and proceeded to the next step of the shade coon, which is called the Ketubah. Ketuba mean written. The Ketuba includes the provision and condition proposed for the marriage. Some of the wedding traditions I'm going to talk about. Kabbalah Panim, more the pre wedding reception. Uh, the, uh, the, the higher power allowed all the previous sin and failing, been forgiven by a higher power. And they are empowered to start a new future for themselves and be so blessing and great to their loved one and friend is to honor their special status that a reception is for them like like for royalty same idea royalty mean like king and queen Many communities, this occasion is you to complete and sign the ketuba, like a merit contract, not, not a merit license, that's two different things, okay? Finish sign the mothers of the bride and groom, they break a plate. Uh, and, and then they say, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. The reason for this is to show the seriousness of the commitment. Just like a, a plate can never be fully repaired. So to a broken relationship can never be fully repaired. Same idea of good wisdom. This is a picture of our uh, ketubah. That's what it looks like. Ketubah come in many, many, many different forms. Uh, some have fancy calligraphy. Very basic. Ketubah is a 
document. Then the Babylonian exile had, had spelled out the husband's obligation to his wife and protected her property rights. By the first century, it became a, a contract that gave women uh, legal status in the event of a divorce or death of the husband and to find his husband's basic obligation to his wife to provide her with food, clothing, and marital rights. Now we're going to move on to the, the wedding day. Yeah. Before the wedding ceremony begins, the groom go to the uh, you know, bride room and put the veil over her face. This is uh, an ancient cut custom, and it meant to make sure that the groom is, I'm sorry, that the bride is the one who was really underneath the veil to make sure was the right person that he was marrying. <laughs> now of the bones of Jofa, not tradition. Now then, our wedding. Now I'm doing a protection to um a me I do is a Jude liturgical poem that is traditionally re that recited at Jude wedding as the couple protected to the Koopa Koopa. I I will explain the English. He who is mighty above all. He who is blessed above all. He who is great above all. He who is distinguished above all. May he bless the groom and the bride. Amen. The groom it led to the Koopa foot. Will you stand and await the arrival of his bride? It is custom for slow music slow music melody while bride and groom walk down on the in the procession. A friend of ours who played the saxophone during our wedding. Now Cooper is the Hebrew word that means chamber or covering. The wedding ceremony takes place under the kupa, a canopy held up by four poles. One pole, symbolic of their drawing together and of the husband bringing the bride into his home. Beautiful. Cooper may be outside at the sign of the blessing given by God to Abraham that his children shall be like stars of the heaven. The cantor. Cantor is a Person in a Jew group that, uh, that sing the blessing and the liturgy. Um, 
he will all call out for the groom with Baruch Haba. Uh, invocation and then for the bride he said Baruchha Haba the invocation. There are more examples of different shape of Cooper. Some are very fancy, some are very simple. I'm just going to give you a couple. When the, the couple first enter the Cooper, the bride, the bride will now circle the groom seven times. You go around, around the groom seven times. The seven times represent the seven wedding blessings, seven days of creation, and also demonstrating that the groom is the center of her world, world. Please. Now I'm going to go into the Kedushim ceremony. Kedushim means sanctification, and it is the sanctification of a man and a woman to each other. And a cup of wine is used for a special kiddush, a wedding blessing from which the couple drinks. Now the groom takes the, the, the wedding ring, the ring in his hand, and in clear view of all, he declared to his wife, Behold, you are wedded unto me with this ring, according to the laws of Moses and Israel. The wedding ring is then placed on the four, the forefinger of the bride's right hand. Right here. Put it. Practice of the ring of the ring on the right index finger is 1,000 years old. It has several explanations. One belief was that the index, index finger was connected by a special artery to the heart. To the heart. And so the ring there uh, joins your heart to his heart. Another I believe is that the index finger, the one that we use to point when we read from Torah, is also the, the seat of intelligence. Intelligence. Placing the ring there indicate informed content. According to Jewish law, this is the central moment of the wedding ceremony, and the couple is now married at this point. So, at this point, the ketubah, the written contract, is read by the rabbi or whoever is marrying the couple. Uh, they read out loud to the public, and then he gives the ketubah, ketubah to the groom, who then passes it out to hit bride. Now we move to the Nitun ceremony. Nitun is the Hebrew word for the second part of the Jew wedding. Uh, what in them uh, would finish the part of the marriage. A second cup of wine is 
Paul Nooka. And then the Chiva Baraka. The seven blessings is recited. I'm gonna the seven blessings to you. The first blessing is really just a blessing for the wine itself. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who had created the fruit of the of the vine. Second, blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who had created all things to thy glory. Black it out thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, creator of humankind, people. Fourth, black it out thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who made man in thine image and prepared for him out of itself a woman for human the section continue may Diane who were barren be exceedingly glad and it thought when her children are gathered within her joy blotted out thou who make it thine joyful to her children. <clears throat> oh, call the love companion to rejoice greatly. Act of old, thou did gladden Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. <clears throat> Blessed art thou, O Lord, who causes the bridegroom to rejoice with the bride. And the last one, blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has created joy and gladness, bridegroom and bride, mirth and exaltation, pleasure and delight. Love, love, brotherhood, peace, and fellowship. Soon may there be heard, heard in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem the voice of joy and gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the bride. The jubilant voice of Bridegrooms from their canopy and of youth from their feet of songs. Blessed art thou, O Lord, who caused the bride, bride, bridegroom rejoice with the bride. Finish seven blessing to avoid the couple drink from the from the cup. And then the groom or the husband will smash a, a glass, glass wrapped in a napkin with his right foot. Um, the other shattering of glass reminds us of the destruction of Jerusalem back in biblical time. Then we see a picture of the husband watching the glass. And playing the breaking of the glass. There's no, no religious requirement for this act. But this really become a famous, popular cut them all, all tradition. 
some rabbi to explain it as a reminder, reminder that even in happy moments, we must be aware of the fragility of life and all human relationship. Other data to remind you of the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem so that even at times of rejoicing we remember the sadness. Um, next step is called Yaku. It means seclusion, private hide. Um, the couple finished breaking the glass. Now they walk into a private room. The private room is symbolic of of the groom bringing the wife into his home. So, here the couple had some time alone for the first time and they can uh, bless each other. And this is a time when the uh, bridegroom can take the, the ring off and put it on a regular ring finger. After a few minutes, they come out and they get announced by the rabbi or whoever married them as Mr. and Mr. Yeah. Hallelujah. And then they have a wonderful good old time having food and music during the, the, the wedding reception. Some even have a chair there. Imagine that. That is another Jewish tradition. And then there's one of us too. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the teaching and I, I hope you learned a lot. Next slide, I have different material that I use for reference material. Thank you. God bless you.